Psalm 63, verse 7. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. Amen. We're up for the letter Mem. Mem. The Mem sings about kingship and water, both of which begin with the letter Mem. Melech for king and Mayim for water. The Mem is one of the five letters, another one of those five letters, that have both a normative or usual form, this is the open Mem, and a final form which is used at the end of a word which is called the closed Mem. Now the word for water, Mayim, has both forms within it. The open Mem, which signifies the flowing bodies of water such as rivers and streams. And at the end of the letter, the closed Mem, signifying closed systems such as lakes, ponds and even oceans. The tiny Yud between them in the word Mayim speaks of the droplet of water, the basic unit of all water, whether closed or open. Now positioned at the centre of the, of the alphabet with all three letters of Melech being present in reverse order by its side, we're looking at the king, the Melech, sitting enthroned, as it were, in the midst of his subjects who stand in attendance. Similar to the layout of a chessboard or the way an army maybe would go into battle. In the multitude of people is the king's honour. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 28. Now, we mentioned kingship and water, but how are these two melodies to be harmonised within this letter? The secret is in another word which begins with mem, which you will know, Moshiach, Messiah. We usually associate the idea of king with pomp and remoteness, but this king is King Messiah, and he redefines the nature of true kingship which can be perfectly illustrated by the metaphor of water. Now, water is an amazing miracle, as we all know. It's the combination of two gases that coalesce and form a liquid. It's a miracle. The King Messiah's reign will also be a miracle, the glory of God on earth. Where there is water, there is life. Everything needs water. What do the astronomers look for when they, when they peer through their telescopes, etc.? They look for, a, when they find a planet, they look for water on that planet. Untold millions of gallons are poured on the earth every day, but mercifully, they arrive in tiny droplets that we call rain. That's the grace of God, that it comes in tiny, tiny, tiny bits. <laughs> a little bit in our life, isn't it? The grace of God. He gives us as much grace as we can handle, as much understanding as we can handle. That's the grace of God. Hallelujah. So all this is a metaphor for the King Messiah's reign. Gallons of blessings supplied in manageable sizes. Hallelujah. Now the flow of water is always from a higher place to a lower place, isn't it? So the King Messiah will dwell on Mount Zion, but also with those of a contrite and humble spirit, because the water of blessing flows down to the lowest place. So we don't mind being in the lowest place. Finally, water cleanses. Water restores. Water revives. King Messiah's reign will be like the blessing of water of Mayim. Now in Judaism, water has a link with love. Mem is the 13th letter in the alphabet. And the numeric value of the word for love, which is ahava, is also 13. That's the aleph is 1, the he is 5, the bait is 2, and the he is 5, making 13. Another link can be made with love by noting that the numeric value of the mem is 40 and a baby spends 40 weeks in the waters of the womb, the place of secure love. So this is a link between, between the mem, between mayim water and between the waters, the waters of the womb um, and the blessing of God and the, uh, the place of security and the place of love. Um, it's a wonderful thought. Now, we can develop this association between water and love by an interesting reading of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7. 
it says this, it says, love bears all things. This, this strength that love possesses is similar to water. The gentlest of all the elements, water nevertheless has phenomenal strength. It's able to support a steel ship of tens of thousands of tons. Even as God upholds all things through Christ, the King Messiah, yet he is as gentle and soft as morning mist. All of these thoughts are within this Mem. Now the Mem rules by right. He's the king, he's Melech, but he rules by right, not by might. And his subjects love him. This is what is coming to the earth, actually. The rule of love and goodness and justice and truth. Hallelujah. Finally, the Hebrew word, Amen, which we all know, consists of the three letters, Aleph, Mem and Nun. And Judaism teaches that these are an acronym for El Melech Ne'eman. And this means God, the trustworthy king. For the Mem is not just a king, but the king. King Messiah, Melech Moshiach. Now to summarise this letter. When you look at this letter, think of King Messiah and his people. Think of love. Think of the power of love and the power of water, which are similar. And think of the gentleness of water and the gentleness of love and of the Messiah King and the strength of Messiah King. This is the song of the Mem. <laughs>